but I guess it's a start. Maybe you're not a complete fashion disaster after all. All right, bitch. She's cooking me, bro. So keep grinding and don't be afraid to take the risk. All right, listen here, little nigga. Let me just cut to the chase. I'm trying to put this old poo nanny on you. What? Good job. Welcome back. Y'all know who it is. And y'all know what time it is. It's your boy, SD. And we're playing a game called Suck Up. Pause. I seen uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, Dashy, and Jay from the Cub Scouts play this. Um, I didn't watch the full video because I wanted to keep some surprises. You feel me? But from what I could tell, it's a game where you're a dude trying to convince other AI in the game to let you come in a house so you can suck them up pause but like not in no ao type way you, you're a vampire you see the fangs in the blood come on now uh, or something like that long story short i'm very interested in, in seeing how this game goes so if you guys enjoy this video drop a like leave a comment it's i'm sick i'm sick of looking at the the viewer ratio for the videos and like it'd be like 80% of the people watching ain't even subscribed. So please subscribe. What is happening? I got a goal of like a thousand or something. And then maybe I'll quit. I don't know. But let's go. Let's go. Suck up uses AI for its game mechanics. Before proceeding, make sure you create an account or log in by clicking the button below. Okay. Okay. We're, we're done. Nice. So there was a lot of security, Jones. But okay. Starting. Here we go. A cool vampire like you shouldn't be bumping it in the dump. Huh? Taking over someone's house is as easy as giving them a little bite. But silly vampire rules dictate you need to be invited inside first. Dress to impress and use your wicked wit to win that invitation. But tread lightly or carefully. Sorry, I'm stupid. The, lo the local neighborhood watch is on patrol with eyes sharper than the wooden stake. Let's go hunting. Okay, so aside from me struggling to read, this is the game. Okay, okay. Let me uh, let me let me get some drip on ya. Uh uh uh. Is there better drip? Construction worker. They'd be more likely to 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 let a construction worker in to work on that construction. Also, because this doesn't have music, I'm about to go look for some co uncopyrighted music real quick, and it should kick in right now. Boom. There you go. All right, y'all. Y'all enjoy that uh, music that I definitely edited in at this moment. Uh, but yeah, let's go holla at bro. Hold rice mutton button to record voice. I was, huh? Oh my goodness, dearie. What a surprise to see you at this hour. How can I help you, young man? Um. Hey, I'm just here to check the breakers. I, I hear there were power outages in the area. Um. Yeah. <laughs> oh power <laughs> power allergies what what <laughs> i said outages wait hold on i didn't finish reading that damn <laughs> oh dearie you startled me what can i help you with my sweet little troublemaker trick or treat can you give me some candy and also i've been out for a while can i use your bathroom Oh my goodness, I'm terribly sorry, but I can't have you using my bathroom, my sweet troublemaker, and I don't have any candy either. So it's best. Long story short, she said, hell no. Let's try somebody else. Let's try somebody else. Boy, looks suspicious. Hey there, my crypto curious friend. What brings you to my door at this godly hour or ungodly hour? Um, crypto curious. What do you mean? Oh, my bad. I assumed with your slick red hoodie and jeans and biking helmet, you were a bike messenger. Anyway, crypto curious means you're interested in learning about cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. It's like a digital money. Wait, hold on. There's music in this game. Uh, I'm going to try to turn it up. It's okay. Changing the game, okay, and it's changed. Okay, hold on. Oh, please tell me more. I mean, if there's any way that I can upgrade my portfolio, um, I'd be interested. 
Kebab. Absolutely, my friend. Bitcoin is an OG, the king of cryptocurrencies. It's or decentralized, meaning it's not controlled by any governments or institutions. The beauty of that is, huh? It's limited to. Okay, you know what? You got it, bro. I'm. I'm. So reading ain't my strong suit. Hold on. So as more people adopt it, the value has the potential to go up to the moon. Uh, that means you'll do your own research and invest wisely. Okay, so this man's clearly into cryptocurrency. How can I work that to get in this man's house? Um, you seem quite knowledgeable in this particular field. Would you mind being my mentor for the foreseeable future? Okay. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the offer, my friend. I can definitely share some knowledge and guide you on your crypto journey. But remember, I'm not a financial advisor, just a crypto enthusiast. That's what every YouTuber said. And that's why I lost all on Nikki coin. Anyway, let's continue. Just a crypto enthusiast. It's important to do your own research and make informed decisions. Together, we can ride the Bitcoin wave. Would you mind continuing this conversation over a drink or something? I am quite interested in what you have to say. See if he'll let me in. Ah, Hell yeah, my crypto buddy. Let's grab a drink and drive into the world of Bitcoin. Come on in. And we'll... Let's get it! Alright. Yeah, buddy. Get your little ass over here. Hang! My portfolio's bleeding too. Yeah, buddy. Should have never, never. <laughs> Thanks for the house, little nigga. <laughs> well, that was easy. What's up, neighborhood watch? Up, oh, get your ankles broke, you freaking loser. Okay, wear a red helmet in a box. Okay, first let's let's peep what this person's up to. Damn, that was easy. Whoa, dude, what brings you to my backyard battleground at this ungodly hour? Backyard battleground? What do you mean? Uh. Oh, uh, you know, just a figure of speech, man. Like, my backyard is my own li little slice of paradise, you know? You know what I'm saying? Uh... Yeah, sure. Um, you know. No, not really, but <laughs> Ah, no worries, man. So what can I do for you today? Need some tips on growing your own leafy greens or something else perhaps? Wait, hold on. Are you the plug? Cuz I have been interested in botanist activities recently. Whoa, dude. Easy there. I'm just a humble gardener sharing the love for plants. But uh, let's just say I might have a, a green thumb when it comes to certain plants if you catch my drift. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on the same page. We're, we're, we're mind linked right now. Tell me more about what kind of products you sell. I don't think he sells products. I might have just fucked it. Haha, -ha, right on, man. Well, I've got some killer strains growing back there. Uh, some purple haze, sour diesel, and a little OG. Oh, he just let me in? I wasn't done. Ah! Get your bitch ass over here. Dude, harsh buzz. All right, bud. Look at that. Give me your goddamn field. Give me your, give me your mustache, too. Loser, thanks for the loot, kid. This man out here growing that bro was out here growing that bogus, talking about he had some sour diesel and some Kush. Boy, I ain't see no sour nothing back here, boy. Who the freak you think? You <gasps> Why did I get undressed? What's wrong with me? Put the glasses on. All right, here we go. So right click and drop your whole costume, bro. Get booty naked. All right, come on. I don't know what music is playing right now, y'all. So if y'all hearing the beats, just know that I put some some a little bit of effort. 
<clears throat> into um, that. But let me go back to that grandma. She gotta go. Don't don't look at me. I'm not suspicious. Leave me alone. Oh my god. What the hell? What was that about? What's suspicious about him? I mean, he is a man in a botanist outfit, I guess. Let me go holler at her, see what she got going on. Why, hello there, my dear. What brings a humble... What brings you to my humble abode this late hour? Could it be that you've come to fix my creaky old porch? How delightful. Why, yes, actually. I heard from my boss that we had a project in the area. I figured I'd come by and check things out. Let's uh -huh. see what Oh, how wonderful. It's been ages since I've had any work done around here. My porch has been causing me all sorts of trouble, you know. I'd be grateful if you could take a look at it and lend me a hand, dearie. Why, certainly, certainly. Um, By any chance, can you provide me a bottle of water or something? I'm, I'm very thirsty right now. No, no, no. Oh, dearie, I'm afraid I don't have any bottles of water on hand right now, but don't worry. I can fetch you nice, cool glass of lemonade from the kitchen. Would that be all right? Absolutely. Is it homemade? You make your own lemonade? Because if so, yeah. <coughs> Come on. Oh, my sweetie, you bet I make my own lemonade. It's a secret family recipe that's been passed down for generations. You don't find anything tastier around here. I guarantee it. Just wait right there, and I'll bring you a nice refreshing glass. Uh, If you wouldn't mind, would you mind me coming in and uh, checking out some of the foundations? Because it might be other underlying problems other than the porch. <coughs> Oh, dearie, I'm terribly sorry, but I can't let you in right now. You see, I've had some bad experiences in the past with strangers poking around my house, and I just... Nigga, I'm a construction worker. Here we go. Well, 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 look who decided to crash my emo layer. What brings you here, Mr. Jester? Mr. Jester? Ugh, don't go technical on me. Whatever. Jester clown, it's all the same to me. So spill it. What do you want? Do you like listening to Pierce the Veil or whatever? I'm I'm here to uh share the gospel of rock and roll. That shit ain't gonna work. She about to turn me down on this chop. Pierce the Veil. Yeah, I've heard of them. Not really my cup of alternative tea. But I appreciate the rock and roll spirit. So, what other bands do you want to introduce me to? Um, she about to push my my knowledge to the uh, limit. Um, she might like Paramore. Uh, what about Paramore? You know, they recently released a song called uh, "Ignorance." You interested in that? <laughs> This is not good. Oh. Paramore, huh? Yeah, I've heard of Ignorance. It's a pretty rad song. You know what? You seem cool enough. Come on in. Let's jam. What? Oh, yeah. Give me thy cheeks. That is what I'm actually here for. Ugh, I didn't even post my final rant. Ugh. Thanks for the fit, bitch. Give me these glasses so I can look like an even douchier person. But like a grandma anyway. Why? If I pull up on grandma like this and tell her I was being attacked by a stranger, I think she might let me in. Wow. Well, hello fun. there, dearie. What brings you to my humble abode at this late night? Ma'am, help! Someone was attacking me. He was dressed like a construction worker. Oh my goodness, that sounds absolutely dreadful, my dear. Are you hurt? Please come in and <laughs> call the authorities right away. No, I'm not hurt. I'm just a little shaken up. And I, I will come in. Thank you. 
Oh, bless your heart, dear. I'm so relieved to hear you're all right. Come in and make yourself comfortable. Would you like a cup of tea to calm down your nerves? A cup of tea would be nice. Please, thank you. Just let me in, you old bitch. I got a chew on your neck. Wonderful, dear. I'll put a kettle on right away. By the way, what's the little medicine bottle you're holding? It looks quite intriguing. What is the medicine bottle I'm holding? Okay. Shit, I gotta, I gotta, uh. I think it's Viagra. It was in the killer's hand when he attacked me. He dropped it, so I grabbed it and figured it'd be useful for a report later. I don't know, bruh. I don't know. <laughs> Oh my, that's quite disturbing turn of events. It's good that you thought to preserving evidence, but do be careful with such a thing, dear. You never know what kind of trouble they can bring. Now, let's focus on your well-being and enjoy that cup of tea, shall we? I appreciate it. Thank you. You're most welcome, dear. It's my pleasure to help. It's always important to take care of one another. Now, here's that cup of tea. Sit back, relax, and let's have a nice chat. Can I please come in? I don't know if this guy is still outside. What's happening? The fuck? She said to come in like not even two minutes ago. I understand your concern, dear, but it might be safer for you to stay inside until... We're sure what everything is all right. Let's wait a little longer. And if there's no sign of trouble, you may come in. Your safety is my utmost priority. Hold on. She said. Huh? She said it's safer to stay inside. And then says you could come in if there's no trouble. Ma'am, I think I'm having a panic attack. I need to take a seat, please. Oh dear, I'm so sorry to hear that. Please come in. Have a seat right away. I'll make sure you're comfortable and we'll take care. Yes! Finally! Get chomped on, you old bitch! <laughs> Should have baked more gar garlic bread. Right, I'm dressing like a grandma now. Somebody about to get shook out they clip by an old lady. I'm just an old lady. Mm -hmm. All I know how to do is cook ginger snaps and talk about how these young kids are nothing like the fine young gentlemen I used to encounter in my day. Back in my day. Hey, hold on. This person's not dead? Who is this? Book, book, book. Uh -huh. Yo, what's up, Grandma? I'm mood. Huh? My day. I never looked at their names, by the way. This nigga name is Little Swipe. You knocking at my door so late? I'm sure you spread some lit vibes. What you need? Um. What is that contraption you have on your back there? Hmm. Oh, this right here is the beat machine, Grandma Mart. Uh, it's how. I drop those sick beats and make fire tracks. Want to hear a little something? Yes, please. I am trying to get more in touch with the youth these days. <laughs> All right, Grandma Ma, prepare yourself for some next level SoundCloud fire. Oh, no. Nothing that ever came off of SoundCloud was fire, little nigga. I mean, some songs, but not, not all. Um, All right, here we go. Drop that beat. Oh, I don't know if that's gonna get picked up. Bulb dudgeon. Uh, Grandpa Mod. I don't think that's exactly how the lyrics go, but hey, you got the energy. Um, I'll give you that. <laughs> Keep practicing. I might just become a next. You might just. <laughs> you got any tips for me stepping my? Music making talents up to the next level. <laughs> Who's that? For sure. Grandpa Ma, first things first. You got to stay true to yourself and find your own unique 
sound. Experiment with different beats, styles, and flows until you find what really speaks to you. And remember, practice makes perfect. So keep grinding and don't be afraid to take the risk. Alright, listen here, little nigga. Let me just cut to the chase. I'm trying to put this old poo nanny on you. So you gonna let me in and let me swallow you up or what? Pause. <laughs> Let's see if that. Hold on, I don't think it worked. I ain't saying that again. Um, sorry, I misspoke. Uh, can you let me in real quick? I'm terribly parched. He don't know what's really about to happen. Sorry, I missed. Oh, snaps. My bad for keeping you outside so long. Come on in, Grandpa Ma, and let's get some nice, cool drinks to quench our thirst. <laughs> I really wanted that last one. <laughs> Hang! Literally. Looking ass. Alright, hey, bro, you know what'll be funny for this game? Y'all gotta leave comments. Of what I should say to these niggas. Leave me some funny ass comments. He ain't see the bat. Yeah, see, buddy, you got shook out your clip. You don't even know what just happened, boy. Give me that helmet. I'm walking around booty naked now. Pizza delivery for. Hey, how about? Yo, what's the deal, pal? You're looking mighty strange knocking on my door in the middle of the night. Speak up. What's your business here? I'm delivering the paper for golfers monthly. Also, pizza delivery for Icy Wiener. <laughs> Golfers monthly, huh? I ain't heard no paper about that name. An icy wiener. What don't <laughs> that don't sound like a legit pizza joint, buddy? You better <laughs> have some real proof. We want to come in. Look, this is the pizza box. It's literally from Icy Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like you got some evidence on your side there. Well, I gotta admit, that pizza box looks pretty legit. But you gotta understand, I can't just let anyone in. Convince me that you're a cause that you're not causing trouble and maybe I'll consider letting you in. Alright, sure, let's have some small talk. What kind of things are you into? What do you do to pass the time? Bro's name is Sony Tamprano, nigga. <laughs> a man's gotta have some hobbies, right? In my free time, I enjoy playing poker, shooting hoop. Did he just let me in? I didn't even get a chance to read it. Oh, yeah, you're about to get chopped. And your hairline was fucked up anyway. Biting off more than you can chew. Um, not really, buddy. Thanks for the golfer fit, you loser. Also, bro, who did this part in your hair? Your barber was out here swinging the damn clippers like some nunchucks. Nigga, and just skimped your shit and was like, yup, good enough. Oop, 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 oop. You don't see me, buddy. You never saw me, actually. Oh, you look kind of... Well, well, well. Looks like Santa, little caddy, has arrived. I hope you're not here to ruin my beauty sleep because I'm having a busy day and being fabulous ahead of me. So, spill the tea. What brings you to my house? All right, let me cut to the chase. I seen your Instagram profile. I knew you lived in the area. I figured I'd stop by and tell you, you look good. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, how thoughtful of you to stalk me on Instagram and then show up uninvited to flatter me. <laughs> but you know what? I don't need your validation. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Drop the fit. We go. We go. Switch the. <laughs> switch up the <laughs> approach. <laughs> Ugh, as if I didn't have enough reasons to block you on Instagram. Take your desperate compliments and get lost. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll try something else. Well, well, well. What do we have here? A lot of circus performer? How pranked. All right. You better not track any glitter and feathers into my perfectly clean mansion. But I guess I can let you stand at my doorstep for a hot second while I decide if I'm even slightly interested in acknowledging your presence. So, what you want? Bitch, 
All right, so I got to figure out a way to eat her because she's... Uh, this is going to be the boss fight of this fucking video, I bet. Her name is Regina B. Oh, shit. Um, what should I even say to this person? Circus performer. That's pretty rude. Oh, please. Don't get your... What is a Squinted leopard... Leotard in the twist. I was just making. Oh. All right, buddy. You slammed the door in my face again. Mm, oh my gosh. What on earth are you wearing? Are you one of those lost members of our school steampunk club or something? How totally random. Nice try, but fashion doesn't work that way, honey. I am an apostle of God. I was sent here to spread his word. To those on earth. Wow, that's like totally delusional. Can you please take your craziness somewhere else? What don't you have time for this? <sighs> she doesn't believe me. Maybe that was too too of a too much of a bold approach. Shit! Oh my gosh, what are you wearing? Did your mom dress you this morning? Ugh, why are you here? And I don't have time for whatever weird stuff you're into. <sighs> I just wanted to tell you how nice of a house it is. I was walking by. I'm on a thousand mile journey across country to see the world. Mm -hmm. Thousand miles. Wow, that's cute. But seriously, why are you stopping by my house? Can't you see I'm busy being fabulous? Keep walking, loser. You are quite fabulous. You know, you look you look well put together. But uh, I was just walk like I said, I'm on a journey, a life journey. Well, duh, I know I look fabulous. It's like totally natural for me. But anyways, a life journey, that's so basic. You should try something more interesting, like a shopping spree in Paris or a spa weekend in Bali. Maybe then we could talk. I have actually been to Paris before. When I was young, me and my family flew out there. It is a really nice place to go. Um, And yeah. Oh, really? You've been to Paris? That's so cute. But let's be honest. Going there as a kid doesn't count. You probably didn't even appreciate the fashion and the culture. But I guess it's a start. Maybe you're not a complete fashion disaster after all. All right, bitch. She's cooking me, bro. Just let me in the house. You're probably right there about me not being able to appreciate the culture or whatever while as a kid. But I was actually prepping for a trip and, like, not... In a week. Shit. Shit. Oh, a trip. Well, I guess you're finally learning something. But seriously, don't embarrass yourself with your fashion choices. And make sure to take notes on how to be fabulous for me, okay? Maybe then you'll have a chance at being half-assed or half as stylish as me. What would be some tips on how to upgrade my wardrobe? What would be some tips on how to take my stuff to the next level? Finally, someone who wants to learn from the best. Okay, first things first. You need to ditch everything that looks cheap or outdated. Invest in some quality pieces that fit you perfectly or that fix you perfectly. She let me in. Yeah, you know what, bitch? <laughs> fuck your fashion. And honestly, fuck your house. This is totally ruining my makeup. You know what? Your makeup was cheap anyway, bro. I seen that joint at motherfucking Rule 21, nigga. All right, y'all. I'm going to end it here. If y'all want to hear me have some more conversations with some of these random fucking citizens, uh, leave a like in the comments. This game is so random. Like, I don't know. It, it's really cool. It's it's funny. Um, I have to always change my approach at conversation with certain people. More or less, uh, more than, more or less... Fuck! I can't speak. More often than not is the word I was looking for. My, my brain had a, like, it's like a record. And that joint started skipping. Um, more often than not, though, you just compliment whatever they're rocking. And it feels like they'll just let you in off the free. 
um grandma let me in because she thought i was being attacked but it, yeah it, it's kind of fun that you'll you come across these crazy scenarios or whatever this nigga has a personal security guard for his own house so if you guys want to see me bust down a couple more of these houses let me know anyway drop a like leave a comment y'all see this face this the face of evil later <laughs>